You guys know where I am. For those of you who don't, this is the multi-purpose room at Hammond Valley Community Church. It's downstairs. As you have seen, upstairs is incomplete, but downstairs it is. It's kind of a nice place. This is where we worship every Sunday morning. No, not every Sunday morning. We haven't been together for quite a few weeks now. And I don't know about the rest of you, but it's uh, getting kind of old preaching in the kitchen. And I appreciate the positive responses and reactions that I'm getting. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'd rather be preaching in person. I'd rather be coming in in the morning and seeing Ed at the front door shaking hands and having Susan in the kitchen making coffee and having Daryl giving me a hard time for something, probably because I deserved it. And then there's Brian, and I'll give Brian a hard time for something, probably because he didn't deserve it, but he's a good guy, and I like to give him a hard time, and he gives me a hard time. It's, it's great. You know, it's like a family, and we joke around, and we have a good time, and we, we rib each other a little bit. But above everything, we love each other, we care for each other, and we make sure everybody's being taken care of and feels welcome and wanted and part of the community. But because of the protocol set in place, because of the coronavirus and whatnot, we're all at home. And I'm not saying that preaching from my kitchen doesn't have a certain appeal to it, but... I'd rather be with you guys. I really would. You know what? As we're thinking about being alone, because a lot of of us are, that's pretty much forefront on our mind, not being together with the community. We can look back and realize that throughout history, God has separated his people. He separated them collectively, um, but he's also separated them individually. I mean, Joseph for no fault of his own, was sold into slavery. I mean, yeah, he was a lippy little kid, but I mean, honestly, selling your brother into slavery because he's an arrogant little punk, that's a little extreme. And he went through a lot of loneliness. He spent how many years in prison for crying out loud? For doing absolutely nothing. And here we are. We're not sick. I mean, honestly, the the amount of cases that are in New Brunswick, I can pretty much guarantee that the vast majority, if not everybody watching this, doesn't have the virus. And yet, we are still in a place where we can't do what we want. We can't worship with the people we want. But see, God always restores. And God will restore. Things won't be the same. Things are probably going to have a different flair from now on. Our culture has been irrevocably damaged, I think, to a certain degree. But in another way, maybe healed in a way as well but I want you to know because I believe this God doesn't waste opportunity and God has used this opportunity to grow you in a way that you won't know until you have to exercise it God has changed you in a way that can bring you to a greater understanding of who he is you notice I say that a lot and I hope this has been an encouragement to you in this time of isolation that you have the opportunity to be still and know that God is God I miss you guys. I wish you were here, and I can't wait till we worship together again. Blessings.